there are 11 teams right now <laughs> that are 0-2, Minnesota and Philadelphia being amongst them. So what 0-2 team is most likely to make the playoffs? And I'll name them right now. The Bengals, mm-hmm. the Dolphins, the Jets, the Broncos, the Falcons, the Giants, the Lions, the Panthers, the Vikings, the Texans, and the Eagles. And before I let you guys answer, only 11% of teams in league history have ever made the playoffs after dropping to 0-2. Jeez. So I'm liable to say none of them. You can say none of them <laughs> if you want. but you know. well, Off the bat, I'm just going to say... The Bengals don't make it. I don't think the Dolphins or the Jets make it. Yeah, the Broncos don't make it. Broncos the Broncos don't make the it. The Bengals don't make it. The Broncos don't make it. The Giants don't make the it. The Giants don't make it. The Panthers don't make it. The so Panthers I don't guess make the, it. The, I don't think the Falcons make it either. Let me, so the teams are the Vikings, Texans, Eagles, and Lions that have a chance. I think the Lions have a chance. I, you might not feel the same way, but I feel no, like I, the Lions it, have a chance. He, and here's the argument for the Lions or the Vikings. Either one of these teams is... The Bears are relying on Mitchell Trubisky to play at a high level, and the question is, is he going to do that? He hasn't shown me enough in his career for me to feel good saying I trust him the rest of the way. So I could see the Bears crumpling. And the same thing with the Packers. It's like as much as I love Aaron Rodgers and I trust him, I don't trust that supporting cast as much to go through the whole season playing spectacularly. And even if they do, that's only the division winner. The wild card spot is always open. So I think that those two teams are in a good spot in that division, just like I would argue that the Eagles are in a good spot. Before to you come even back stop, let me just run you our schedule before you even say that. Cincinnati, San Fran, Pittsburgh. Baltimore. Then we got the Giants. Then we go to Dallas. This is the Eagles schedule. Yeah. Then we get a bye. Then we go back to the Giants. Then we play Cleveland, Seattle, Green Bay, New Orleans, Arizona, Dallas. <laughs> then we play Washington. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I, for, I forget you guys are also playing the NFC West this year. This is going to be the hardest year. And of my life. I don't think the Texans are going to make it. I saw their schedule. Their schedule is pretty gruesome. Titans are hot, Colts are there. Yo, but, this is going to be the worst year of my well, life. Well, that's another thing with that division is like, do you, like I don't know if I trust the Colts. I the trust Rogue the Rivers, Titans, and the I Titans. Do. You just you just never know with them. I, I are the they Titans. going to play like they played in the postseason last year? Or I think they're going to play how they were playing with Tannehill when he took over, <laughs> and that's elite football. Elite, uh, yeah. Tannehill is playing at a great level. He's actually not too far off in the MVP conversation. If you put up his numbers side by side with everybody else we mentioned. Tannehill is there. Well, I'm going to go with my prediction. That's none of them teams. You don't think anybody's going to make it out of them? Mm-mm. I think the league is too, especially in the NFC, the NFC is too loaded for those teams to come back from a deficit. I think what you got the Rams, you got the Cards, you got the Seahawks. That's three teams in the same yeah. division also, and 49ers. I also think it speaks volumes. What is the only division in the entire league without an 0-2 team? The NFC West. By far the best division in the league, and I would not be surprised to th- see That's three playoff. I don't. I would not be surprised to see no, three playoff teams. I think it'll happen, but it won't Bay, be the Forty ers But then you got Tampa Bay and you got New Orleans. That's six good teams already. Then Green Bay. That's seven. That's that's three divisions now. The NFC is crazy. I, that's the, that's the thing about those NFC teams. As much as I want to say, like the Lions or the Eagles, schedule wise and standings wise. They're in such a dogfight. I, I don't say see how they make it's it. It's between two teams. It's between the Texans and the Lions. I'm not giving up on the Lions. I, I picked them to win a division. You picked them to win a division? Yeah, they probably won't win a division, but I'll pick them to make the playoffs. Mm. And the reason I say this is because they're getting Kenny Galladay back. Huge, huge piece. But after week five, which is their bye week, so starting week six, mm-hmm. their schedule is going to be the Jaguars. I think that's winnable. The Falcons, winnable. The Colts, winnable. winnable. The Vikings, winnable. Washington winnable, the Panthers winnable. I think those, those are, are also a couple losable games. Yeah, though. I think they can win those six. I'm not saying they're going to go on a six game win streak, but I think those are all winnable games, and mm-hmm. I think they can kind of go toe to toe with every team that's not that's so elite in the NFL, especially if they get healthy. I mean, Desmond Trufant was out last week. They started Jeff Okuda finally, but Desmond Trufant was out. Kenny Galladay has been injured. He hasn't been back yet. I think he's, he might come back this week. Mm-hmm. So once they get 
everybody healthy, I think they'll finally start to. I hope win so. Some I like games. Matthew Stafford, man. Yeah, I, I, I do hope they make it because I'm a. I like the Lions. I root for them week to week. They should and, be one and one right now. And like you said, the Eagles are only two right now. So these are just the hardest games: the Ravens, the Steelers, the Cowboys, the Seahawks. The Packers, the Saints, the Cardinals, the Browns, you gotta, the Niners, you gotta throw Washington Dallas. Out there. That, that Washington loss really. Those are like ten guys. games that they could they could probably lose seven of those. Because with a, with a schedule like that, you really need to capitalize on the games like Washington. The same situation with last year. We didn't capitalize on with yeah, games like exactly. Miami, and we put ourselves in deep holes. I'm gonna say the Texans just for mm. no other reason than I think the AFC is much weaker as a conference, and I don't think their schedule is as gruesome as some of the teams that we've been mentioning. You know, the best team that they see probably is Tennessee twice. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. looking at it right now. They get New England once. They get Detroit once. They still got to play the Colts twice. They, they play Green Bay, too. And they play the Colts, but I'm not sold on the Colts, especially they've been dealing with some injuries. Uh, I'm not sold on the Colts or the Jaguars. That's why I give the Texans a chance in that division. And I also never will count to Sean Watson out. Side question. Who do you have coming out of that division? I I'm gonna say the Titans. I think the Titans are gonna win. The Titans, yeah. I feel like you picked the Colts and you just. Changed I, your I did pick the Colts, but as yeah. what I'm seeing now, Titans? I'll pick the Titans. Me too. I have not been impressed with the Colts at all. I thought they were gonna look much better. I never had faith in. Them. I mean, the, the blowout against Minnesota, it wasn't really. When I was watching the game, it really didn't feel like <laughs> they kind of imposed their will on them. It just <laughs> felt kind of like they stumbled upon it. Yeah, and playing against Kirk Cousins. Who yeah. we just had a discussion about is he has he been essentially the least valuable quarterback in the league so far through two weeks? So, yeah, like you said, maybe they just stumbled upon one there. And the Jaguars, do we really think the Jaguars are going to be even competitive after the next few weeks? Just remember, if they win against the Dolphins, they'll be two and one. Just remember, which me, is ridiculous. Me and you went back and forth on Philip Rivers, and you said he's going to get them to the playoffs. They should have signed. I James. think he can. Well, I Ooh. thought I think I think Jameis would have been a better fit for the Colts. Colts, Jameis, it would have been bad. I don't know, like <laughs> outside of outside of Tampa Bay, or like I really didn't see another fit for Jameis. New England, nah, not definitely not New England. I I think that Bill Belichick could take anybody and make them look good. I mean, Jameis isn't bad though. I just think that they wouldn't want to deal with all the turnovers. Their styles would clash, too. James is more of a, a vertical quarterback. He doesn't like that short stuff. Yeah, exactly. Hello, guys. You just watched a clip from Pick a Side. If you like our content, please like and subscribe and share our content across every platform. It helps us grow. Thank you for watching, and see you later.